Hippie Nope, you inestimable. The Grandiloquent Dictionary defines tippy nope as a noun. Tippy nope, a small quantity of something left over, such as uneaten meat on a side plate or dregs of beer left in a glass, a small portion of food remaining. Noun. I learned the word after a dinner conversation on Tuesday. At breakfast Wednesday morning, it was pointed out that some of my smeared bagels cream cheese remained on my beard. I took a selfie and created a definitional meme that you can see here. I texted my new word and photo to a few etymologically inclined friends. Betsy texted back, sorry, period, tippy nope is not a word. I'm Brian Zachary Mayer, I help the spiritual but not religious. There's a chance this spiritual religious thing is not what you think. You get to choose who you are in this world, and that's enough, and that's awesome. The less you believe everything you think, the better. I'm ready, you're ready, let's dive in. How can a word not be a word? I hear my father's voice playful in my head, Brian, how can a word not be a word? As I ponder the impossibility of answering, I remember, or maybe I see, a twinkle of joy between the outer corner of his eye and his ears. I smile, thinking of how my old man would have enjoyed that question, how can a word not be a word? In most of reality, things cease or transform into other things. This doesn't seem to be the case with words. How can a word not be a word? I checked the definition of the eponymous word, word. Word, a single distinct meaningful element of speech or writing, noun. Sorry, Betsy, tippy note is a word. It has a single distinct meaning element of speech or writing. And furthermore, Betsy, you don't have the authority to say it's not a word if my friends and I use it as a word. Of course it's a word. We're using it. In hindsight, reviewing this, it dawned on me that this might also be about my dad. Maybe my dad, even though you might say he's not here, maybe he isn't quite gone either. After all, how can my dad cease to be my dad? Perfect Alamechian irony. This reminds me of something in the Bible. There's a passage in which it said that for all times, all descendants of Abraham, all Jews, all Christians, all Muslims, are to wipe the name Amalek from the face of the earth. Depending on what version of God's holy writ you're looking at, after a little discussion of being honest in weights and measures, the verse in Deuteronomy 25, 19 translates as, Remember to eradicate Amalek. The irony is that there's not one extra biblical source in the world with any mention of Amalek. The name Amalek would not be known to this date except for the admonition to eradicate the name. To be fair, the redaction without mentioning the name would be absurd. Eradicate all traces of the name Can you be more specific about who you mean when you say Because the made it so I couldn't understand what you were saying. I said all eradicate the name as soon as you say the name Amalek it exists you can't say it and then say it doesn't exist to say tippinope is not a word because it uses the letters t-i-p-p-y-n-e-o-p-p-e -P -P -E as a word of course it's a word yeah, Rabbi Brian in post-production. Yeah, I noticed I misspelled it too. Nonetheless, no titty nopes. Ignore what I've just said. Titty nope is not a word. Nor is schmeared, the word I used uh, above to describe the spread of cream cheese that was on my bagel. Now, schmear is officially a word as a noun, but the past participle adjective schmeared is not. 
Now, while I agree tippy nope is a word in that people use it, I declare a distinction here. Tippy nope is not officially a word. Here are my four reasons tippy nope is not officially a word. One, tippy nope is in no print dictionary I own. Two, tippy nope is not allowed for playing Scrabble according to various online sources. Three, tippy nope yields zero results for any meaningful etymology. And finally, truth and the death blow. Four, my inner purist wants order and does not want words that don't meet the above criterion as words. Chaos scares me, and therefore I'm declaring tippy nope not an official word. I feel better that way. Boundaries stave off pandemonium. But the hintergedanken remains. Who's in charge of this? Who's in charge of what is and isn't real? I mean, after all, the lawmakers are just people who make laws. It doesn't mean that their laws are right and just. Soup. Inestimable you. I asked the young woman on the other side of a lunch counter for some help. Excuse me, what's the difference between the tomato and orzo and the tomato and rice soups? The one with rice is roasted. The tomatoes are roasted. It's a little spicier. She almost sang as she talked, and before I had processed what she had said, she gestured to my head with an upward nod of her chin. You Jewish? Yeah, is it the hat? Then I added something that I thought was funny, but not for her. Or is it the fact that I answered a question with a question? Not getting sidetracked by my statement, she continued with where she was taking the conversation. My boyfriend's Jewish. Now, I couldn't be Jewish, though, because of the bacon. You can't be Jewish and eat bacon? I asked, softly, open-endedly. Right. I can, I tell her, rearranging that, my hat on my head. Yeah, my boyfriend does too. He eats bacon and he's Jewish. So you can be Jewish and eat bacon too if you want. Get the tomato with rice. It's tastier. You'll like it. Thanks. I'm good. I'm sure you are, I said. After all, who is a better authority on her goodness than her? And the same is true for you. Don't listen to anyone who tells you otherwise, even if it's your own self. You are of inestimable value, even if you have a tippy nope of food on your face. I'm Rabbi Brian. I thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel below and, and check out the 77% Weekly. I take all this, what I've just said, it's usually in a newsletter. You can get it in your inbox 40 out of 52 weeks a year. It's called the 77% Weekly because it arrives 40 out of 52 weeks a year. I take the last Monday of the month off um, just as a reminder to all of us that we don't need to work so hard. We can actually have some spaciousness in our life. Thank you. Give me comments. Uh, likes, whatever you got.